Yes, that's right. We're finally back in Toilet Tower Defense. We played this game a long time ago, and it got, like, taken off because of the skibbity toilet thing, and then it came back for a while, and it's still really popular, and a lot of people have been asking me to play it, and I want to see what kind of towers we're working with. Now, it's all toilet-based, so there might be some poop puns today. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'll never do it again. Make sure you like the video and subscribe if you're new because we've been banging out two videos a day, even some streams, and we got lots of stuff coming your way. There's even a Valentine's event going on right now. I didn't have a Valentine, but you know what? It's fine. We're going to buy some hearts, and we're going to buy some of these Valentine guys because these could be very, very good, and they're... They're kind of cool themes, so we're going to grab some. If you guys play this game a lot, definitely let me know. Oh, I can buy 10. Um, definitely let me know, like, what the best stuff is to do and what I should do in these videos, because I'm kind of lost. I'm not going to lie. Now that I just bought that, what do I do with these crates? I just open them? Okay, before I open them, though, should I turn on, like, a luck thing? Actually, we already have a luck boost, so let's open 10 at a time. Oh! They open just like pet sim. And bam! We got some cool stuff. Wait, did we get some maps? Or what is this? Oh, that's a that's a character. Oh, cool. We got some rares. So we got the rare one, which is this 35, but we didn't get anything above that. Kind of sad, but you know, we got a little farm. I'll take a rose farm. Uh, so there's a lot of new maps. I'm kind of like not even sure. I'm pretty sure Toilet City was one we've done. Desert was, I think, one we've done. Cameraman HQ. I don't think we've done Toilet Lab, Toilet HQ, Palm Paradise. There's a lot of new ones, and I don't know what the newest one is, but I see that the last update included valentine's event so it had all those new towers and miscellaneous improvements what was the update before that i'm not really sure ourselves out there we got to summon some new toilets and we got to get down to business now this is endless mode there's a toilet fortress and you can just go forever i don't want to do that right now wait what's over here trading plaza they have a trading plaza that's crazy wait they also have a post office okay what are you doing the post office like what's in here um Oh, it's just like mail. You can send stuff. People send me stuff. That's crazy. Wait, somebody sent me this? Dang, that's kind of sick. That's a that's a mythic claim. Haha, -ha, I got it now. That's cool. My window is open, so now the lighting is better. So it's time to take our toilet powers to the next level. I don't want to go to Toilet City, but I do want to go all the way over here to Toilet Lab. I haven't I haven't done this yet. I have some pretty good units from when I played before, uh, but I don't know what the best units are right now. Oh, there's new ones right here. Okay, maybe we do need some of these. Maybe we need some gems. Like, what are even the, the best ones now? I don't even know. Green Laser Cameraman. Oh, exclusive units. You know what? I'm going to buy the most expensive one, the Titan Clock Man. He looks insane, and I just want to get him because... I mean, he's the most expensive, so he, he's got to be good, right? We got some new exclusive units. L units. Let's get the Titan Drillman as well. And we're going to equip these guys and go to town, baby. All right, so I'm going to equip best, and it's going to equip my two new ones and these guys. So we got some cool uh, units. Let's go ahead and go to the toilet lab. Here we are. I'm going to go solo, and hopefully it's on easy because I will literally lose immediately if it's not. So if you've never played this game, oh, yeah, I can choose. Um, let's start by medium. I think we can do medium. Can we? Vote. We're doing medium. So, uh, if you guys haven't played this game, it's essentially a tower defense game. And if you don't know what those are, it's basically those games that's like Bloons Tower Defense where, uh, you know, there's a, there's a spot where enemies come out and then there's all these different places where you can place your, uh, units. And I just realized I literally don't even have enough money to place a unit. So I, I think I just lose. Like, I literally can't even place a unit. How can I make money? How, uh, yeah. What the heck? Okay, wait. So, maybe if all these toilets go through, I won't lose, but I'll get money for finishing the round, and then I can place a unit. I, that's my only hope. Dude, what the heck? It actually goes so far, too. All right, I'm just going to see if that happens. If it doesn't, then I, I failed, and I have to restart already. Nice. We're off to a great start. Finally, I think this wave is about to go through. I didn't actually lose, but let's see if I get money for this. I think I still do for finishing the round. Yeah, there we go. Now I can put something down. Okay, jetpack or dancing. Let's do the dancing camera woman. We'll put her here. So that should... Wait. Okay, it's not really doing that much. Um, Come on, come on. Come on. It's barely doing anything! Ah, oh, stuff's getting through on this side, too. Yeah, I'm screwed. Why is she so slow? She's so slow, dude. I need this jetpack guy. 
Okay, so I'm restarting. It seems like I need to equip something that is going to be under 200 to start off. So we're going to put the dark speaker man on instead of the speaker woman. So let's unequip. Wait. Okay, my game's broken. It's not, Nothing's equipping and nothing's unequipping. So what do we do here? What do we do? Okay, that should work. Now I'm able to enter the toilet lab and place something immediately. So we'll see if we have a chance this time. So the problem is I don't have great range with the dark speaker man, but it comes out of two sides on this map. So it's a little bit challenging. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this dark speaker man in the middle. Mm, this is tough. Okay, if I put him here, eh, this is probably a bad idea. If I put him here, he can get both sides. But the problem is they go so fast, I don't think he can get enough by himself. Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah, he's doing his thing. Okay, so these guys are a little bit stronger, these toilets here. But I have $65. Now I'm actually making money this time. So we might be in good hands with this dark speaker man right here. Come on. Like I said, I am a noob to this game, guys. So please don't be like, oh my God, this guy sucks. I know I suck. It's I'm new to the game. That's what I said. If I sold this and moved him, I would be able to kill those, but it's not worth the money. So I'm just going to skip it. Um, and wave two is going to start. So now we have $186. We can put another one of these guys out, which I think would be a good idea. And we're going to do it here, I think. So now I'll, I'll attack both sides and they can hit through the middle. I think that will save us for this. Round. I don't even know if we'll, uh, I'm not going to skip, but I don't know if we'll let any toilets through. I think we got this. So here's the last five toilets. These guys are a little bit bulky. They take like two or three hits, but they're slow. So I think we can attack them here. Okay, this guy's going to start hitting. Okay. Oh, they're two hit. They're two hit. That's perfect. Big. Yeah, easy, bro. Easy. Okay. Not a match for me. So we're skipping the next one. We're at $237. We need to get to $300 so we can get this jetpack guy out. But my goal is to get this Titan Clockman out. This is an exclusive, insane damage, insane range, and everything about it is going to be good. It's a real low cost or a real low exist uh, exclusive as well because not many people have it. I think I'm going to upgrade these guys. I think it might be a good move to upgrade these guys. So I did. So maybe that's going to be more effective than buying a third one. Okay, here we go. A lot, of, a lot of toilets coming through. Look at them go, though. These guys are doing work. All right, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep going until I get a lot of money, and then I'll see you guys when I have a Titan Drill Man. That's my next purchase. Okay, we got a lot of things coming through. We're about to place this Drill Man, though. So that's going to help us. Look at that. I put them to where... Oh, my God, that's sick. Dude, it looks so cool. I put them to where there's a lot of areas he can attack so that should be pretty good oh my god he looks so cool the drill man wave eight we got some uh dual claw toilets coming through we got some pretty strong stuff but we have a jetpack guy right here that helps us a ton we have almost a max upgraded speaker man i'm actually gonna upgrade that again and then we're looking at a drill man right here 1250 to upgrade but he can attack both sides so look at that he just wipes them out the, the speaker men haven't even done anything yet. I think I can just let them go for a little bit. Uh-oh, they got spider toilets coming through. That police toilets coming through, though. That's a little bit scary. But we should be good. I actually might just hit skip. I might hit skip and let the next one come through. Because, yeah, we're making money now. We could put another drill guy out here. Okay, I don't know if I should save up to upgrade the drill man or get the titan clock man out. I really want him because he's the, he's the big guy. I think I'm going to wait to put him out. So I'm just going to like place him right here whenever I can. But we got uh, we got to finish this round first. Some of these guys might get through here. This is actually kind of bad. Wait. Oh, never mind. The drill man saved me. I can upgrade. It would be a big upgrade. It would be a huge damage boost. Uh, I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I don't know if I should have just waited and got the clock guy. But now my drill guy is going to kill everything one shot. Which he already kind of did. So I guess I didn't really need to do that. But he also got a little... I think he got a little bit faster. So, all right, now we actually save up for clock. Okay, we got our first large toilet coming through. This is kind of like a mini boss. A uh, little bit nervous, just kidding. My 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 drill guy kills him in one one second. So, <laughs> we're not even worried about that yet. Okay, please give me 2,000 bucks. I need this clock guy. Clock man is out, and he is ready to battle. So, him and the drill looking crazy. 
and he just destroys people. So upgrading is going to be 2,500. Oh, and I can time stop. So what does that exactly mean? Oh my gosh. I should not have used it because you can literally only use it every 300 seconds. And uh, <clears throat> now, now that didn't help me at all. So that's where it's so beneficial. I'm an idiot. I know. I, I didn't mean to use it, but now I know what it does. So you can use it when there's like a bunch coming through and you could stop time and like reset your board, sell things, move them. I think this guy's sick and they look really, really powerful and strong. So I can upgrade this drill man again pretty soon. Let's save up for the clock man upgrade 25 hundo because we're doing big damage right now. And that's going to make it so that he attacks twice as fast as twice as damn twice as much damage. Bigger range, better ingredients, better pizza, Papa John's. I said it there. Are you happy? I said it and upgrade him. Boom. So now the clock guy is an upgrade. He's even got a little staff now, making a little beam noise. That's way cooler. And his range is pretty massive. Not uh, not too shabby. Look at that. That is so cool. He's zapping him. Look at that, bro. He zaps. He has two attacks. He zaps and he, and he like stomps down. His zap reaches so far. And then his stomp is like this close white circle range. So he can do both. So I'm literally just going to skip. I'm going to hit auto skip, and I'm just going to destroy everybody with this. Okay, this is a little bit scary. I'm going to turn off auto skip because there's a lot coming through. This is where it would have come in huge handy to actually uh, use the time stop thing. But you know what I can do? I can get another clock, man. Uh, put him... Where can I put him? Why can't I put him here? Why can't I put him around here? All right, let's put, uh, here. We got another clock. Another clock, man. So two Titan clocks... That's actually insane. This one's level two. I kind of want to upgrade it more, but I need 4,000 for that. It's kind of sick. He, sh he he like shoots and attacks so fast that he's just... Look at this. And his range? His range is actually nuts. He's hitting people over there now. Yeah, the jetpack guy's like carrying. Look at the boss toilet go down so fast. Skip. Yeah, that's easy. Proper use of time stop. I mean, not really, but I just want to try it. So it stops everybody else. It stops all the towers or all the uh, enemies, and it lets you just keep on attacking. So it's pretty OP. Maybe I should have waited a little bit more to use it, but still, I got some use out of it, and I'm actually just like winning the game. I don't really need to use it much. This Titan Clockman is almost maxed out. He's level four. So he's got his staff. He's ready to go. Well, I think one more upgrade is max. So we're looking pretty right now. Look at these thieves are fast. The assassin toilets are fast but we're just destroying. Uh, that was not max. I think this next one's max, but it's going to cost 20,000 buckaroonies. So we better strap in here. But look at the changes when you upgrade him. Look at that. So he's got the shoulder clocks. He's got himself the staff. It's like a red staff. It's looking sick. We need $20,000. I don't even know if we'll get enough before the end of this game. I really don't know if this is one of the hardest maps. I just know it was a map that I haven't played yet. It does seem one of the hardest because there's two sides for them to come out of. And uh, it's pretty short afterwards, so it's kind of tricky. But luckily, these units are insane. These insane, uh, like, what are they, mythicals or legendaries? Yeah, they're exclusives. Oh, yeah, so those exclusives and this legendary carrying me. And this is about to be max upgraded. Please tell me it's max. Yes. So we just got a max upgraded clock. And look at him. He looks crazy. He actually looks so cool. So he's got all these buffs, this jetpack and everything. And uh, it's safe to say we're going to win this map because of him. Look at this. We got boss toilets coming through. We got mutants. We got boss toilet 2.0 coming through. 24,000 health or 214,000 health. And we're going to destroy this thing quickly. Wait, where is it actually? Wait, why? Oh, there we, there we go. Yep, it's, it's taking damage pretty quickly. Look at that. And we got another clock guy out. And we might as well put another one out over here. And we might as well put another one out over here. Oh, we win. Ha ha ha! So there we go. We won the game. We got ourselves a max upgraded Titan clock, man. And that was honestly pretty fun. I forgot that this game was pretty good. If you guys want to see me play it again, let me know. If you want to see me do anything specific, let me know. I just decided to get some of the best exclusives. And we definitely uh got our money's worth we destroyed with those guys so huge shout out to nobody huge shout out to russo for making the video and i'll see you guys in the next one two videos every single day and uh well later